Hey everybody, it's Ali and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Middle Eastern haul here for you guys. I have five fragrances that I want to talk about that are newer to my collection. I've had a little bit of time to play with these and yeah, that's what we're going to get into today. If you like my content and you enjoy these videos, definitely like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot when you do. And yeah, we're going to get started with the first one on my list. This is one that I had been kind of curious about. I'd seen a lot of people, especially on TikTok, hype this one up. And a lot of women were like, oh, it's totally unisex. It's this, it's that, it's spicy, it's pineapple, it's delicious. And we're going to get into it. It is from Paris Corner, and this one is called Noof. Now, I see what they mean when they say it's a pineapple fragrance, because it is very pineapple forward, but this is not unisex in my opinion. This is masculine leaning, which I was very kind of like disheartened by a lot of like reviewers that were like, oh, it's totally unisex. No, this is not a unisex easy blind buy. I feel like if you are a woman and you look into this fragrance and you get it, you might just be a little disappointed when you get it. Um, it definitely leans in the masculine territory. You have pineapple, bergamot, grapefruit, white, cedar, jasmine, patchouli, woody notes, and oak moss in the base. And yeah, this smells like if you took the Aventus DNA, in my opinion, that very pineapple forward sort of woody DNA, and you added a little bit more spice to it, made it warmer, more ambery, more sort of geared towards fall. And that's the sort of vibe that this fragrance gives me. It definitely gives a masculine cologne type vibe. That's not to say that I can't picture a woman wearing this fragrance. I could totally see the right woman wearing this fragrance, but it's a very masculine pineapple fragrance. It's warm, it's rich, it's a little spicy, but it very much smells like a masculine pineapple men's fragrance that is good for pretty much fall. It's long lasting, it smells delicious on a man. Um, I ended up giving this to my partner. He really enjoys this fragrance, he loves it. And I tried wearing it, um, and even in the deep dry down, I still thought it smelled masculine because in the deep dry down, it becomes sort of more a little woody, um, still a little sweet, but more like woody, oak mossy on me. Um, and yeah, to me, like, I think it's a good investment, but this is more of a men's fragrance. My girls out there that are probably seeing this on TikTok or like online, with people saying that it's unisex, be forewarned, I'm going to warn you right now. It might be unisex to some people, but the majority of the girls out there, you're going to find this a little too masculine to wear. Um, take my word for it or don't. Try it out yourself. See if you like it. Who knows? You might really enjoy it. I just think this smells way too masculine. When I've worn it, I get asked if I'm wearing like some sort of men's aftershave and I kind of hate that. Cause it does have this sort of like aftershavey clean vibe, but with a warm, rich, ambery, Swedish base, if that makes sense. Really nice, honestly, but more geared for men. Perfect for fall time. If you have a guy who loves pineapple, loves the Aventus DNA, get him this for his collection. I think he's really gonna enjoy this sort of switch up on that Aventus sort of style DNA. Like I said, it's very reminiscent of it, but it is a warmer, spicier, richer, ambery sort of take on that DNA that is perfect for the cooler weather ahead. And that is Paris Corner Noof. The next one that I'm going to talk about was one that I had been wanting for a while now, um, especially since I knew what this one was supposed to be duping, and that is from La Tapa. This one is called Tamima. This one is amazing. This smells like one of my favorite fragrances for summer of all time. And that is from DNG, um, La Peratrice number three. If you are familiar with La Peratrice number three, you know it is a beautiful, aquatic, watery, fruity, lemon, or lemon, watermelon forward fragrance. And you guys, this did not disappoint. This is a stronger version of La Peratrice number three. And I am obsessed with this. I wish I had this sooner um, so I could have worn this like during summer. I'm a little bummed that I have it right now for fall, but you know what? That's fine. Um, I don't mind. And I also didn't mind that I snagged this bottle for $9. 
Um, it was on sale when I had bought it and it was $9 for this beautiful fragrance. If you are a fan of aquatic, fruity, slightly floral fragrances and you're really going to love this, you've got red currant, kiwi, rhubarb, pink pepper, watermelon, cyclamen, jasmine, cedar, musk, sandalwood, and other woody notes. And my gosh, when I tell you this is such a beautiful, feminine, juicy, aquatic, fruity fragrance, this is stunning. This is absolutely refreshing. That gives you a sparkle when you're wearing it. This is such a compliment getting fragrance. And I love watermelon in fragrances. I think it is such a refreshing, juicy, fruity note. And it is done so beautifully in this. And it really does capture the DNA of L'Imperatrice. I love this. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. I wish I would have purchased this sooner so I could have had it for summertime. I'm happy I have it now because you know I'm going to be busting this out in the summer, you know, to use alongside with my L'Imperatrice number three um, because that is one of my like staple ride or die summer fragrances. And you guys, this one did not disappoint whatsoever. This is like a perfect dupe of that fragrance. This is stronger though, and it lasts longer. So if you have longevity problems with L'Imperatrice number three, do yourself a favor and look into this one. It is a fraction of the price, and it lasts longer, it is stronger, and it smells the same. Definitely, definitely check this out. 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Now the next one that I'm gonna get into is called Mayar, and this one is from La Tapa. And this one, I've seen a lot of people compare it to My Way by Giorgio Armani. And I don't know what people are thinking because this does not smell like My Way to me. I could see where they're going with that comparison. There is a similarity to it. By in no means is this a dupe for it. So if you are buying this thinking, oh yeah, it's a My Way dupe because like it's got pink juice with like blue on it, you're going to be mistaking. It smells like it is inspired by the DNA, but it's definitely not the same DNA. You've got notes of lychee, raspberry, violet leaf, white rose, peony, jasmine, musk, and vanilla. And to me, I know this is a weird, but the combination of the lychee and raspberry mixing in with the white rose and peony is making this smell fruity, but like a guava type of fruit. This smells like guava to me. I don't get any of the lychee, I don't get the raspberry. To me, the fruity notes mixing in with the floral notes is creating a sort of guava-esque sort of feel for this fragrance. This smells like a pink guava that is growing on a tree surrounded by these beautiful florals. It is very sweet, it is pretty, it has this candy-like quality that is reminiscent of the um, Giorgio Armani My Way with those sort of florals. But to me, I don't really get a white floral. I get a pink floral from this. Even though it has white rose, it's giving more of a pink vibe. It's a pink guava, sparkling, fruity, juicy, candied fragrance. If you are a fan of guava, this one might surprise you because like I said, it doesn't have guava. But the combination of lychee with raspberry and these sort of floral notes is making it smell very guava-esque. It's a really beautiful one very long lasting this sort of it has a sort of candied effect that lingers on my skin and really sticks to me and it lasts all freaking day on clothes this is nuclear on skin this lasts and this projects pretty dang well i was honestly kind of shook because just smelling it you're all like oh it's really light and pretty it's not going to have that much of a projection man was i wrong this projects, this lasts, and this clings onto skin, and it clings even more on clothing. So if that's something that you really enjoy, that sort of long-lasting, fresh, um, sweet sort of guava-esque vibe, do yourself a favor, look into this one. It has a very tropical-y vibe, in my opinion, and I think it's really good for summer and like warmer weather. Um, and honestly, this is so potent. You could probably get away wearing this in the fall if you want sort of a more tropical-y vibe um during the colder season so yeah definitely like this one honestly i was pleasantly surprised i'm glad it doesn't smell like my way even though i do like my way um this is a unique guava-esque sort of version of my way kind of um definitely like it 10 out of 10 really recommend for my tropical girlies out there now the next one that we're gonna get into is one from the house of Kadlaj. And this is one that I've been wanting to get for a minute. This one is Le, Le Prestige Royal. It looks like this. 
I have the Empress um, from this line, um, which comes in a green bottle instead of this like sort of denim blue, this darker denim blue. Really, really pretty. I love these bottles. I think they're so cute. Um, but yeah, when I saw the notes, I immediately knew this was going to be a clone of Hibiscus Mahajab. If you are a fan of Hibiscus Mahajab, this smells so much like it. It's a near identical dupe. You have spearmint, black currant buds, rose, cinnamon, water lily, amber, vanilla, leather, amberette, benzoin. You have cedar wood. And yeah, you guys, this smells just like hibiscus mahajab. Um, I also have another hibiscus mahajab clone. I've talked about it before. It is, um, what was it called? Hibiscus magic. Um, hibiscus magic is denser and sweeter this one is a little bit sharper and not as sweet as that one so if you prefer a little bit of a sweeter take on that dna i would suggest going with hibiscus magic if you wanted something that is a little closer to hibiscus mahaja but with a slightly sharper feel because i do get a little bit more of that spearmint in this and those black currant buds it's giving it sort of a kind of sharpness to it then you'd probably really enjoy this one. This one has a little bit more of a sharp edge around it where like I felt like Hibiscus Magic was more well-rounded and softer because it was sweeter. Um, that's not to say that this doesn't smell good. This smells phenomenal. It's long lasting. This will last forever on clothes and skin. It just is a little bit sharper and not as sweet as Hibiscus Magic. And I would say that this one is probably closer to Hibiscus Mahajab than hibiscus magic is because that one is sweeter definitely really good really long lasting if you love that sort of warm floral that is like got this sweetness and that little something extra then you're really gonna like this this is warm it's rich it's very floral and it's also sweet but like in a sharp unique way it's a really fascinating one. I definitely get the sort of woody components to it. This is one of those fragrances it's so hard to describe other than like a, a woody floral sweet fragrance that has a this unique aromatic component to it because of like the spearmint and that cinnamon. Oh, it's just so unique and so interesting and so beautiful. I can see why a lot of people really love Hibiscus Mahajab. It's a unique take on a floral woody fragrance some people compare it a lot to La Via Belle. I can see the comparison, that sort of sweetness, sort of denseness with that sort of woody kind of uniqueness with that patchouli as well. This sort of has a similar vibe. It's not the same. It's not the same. I. It's similar-esque, but this is a floral overload that is warm, it's rich, it's inviting. Mm, and it's so unique definitely like grown and sexy i really like this another 10 out of 10 if you love hibiscus mahajab and you want something for a fraction of the price i highly suggest this one le prestige royale by kadlaj or hibiscus magic um i think it's from fragrance world both are unique both are beautiful but if you prefer something a little sweeter and more well-rounded i would go with hibiscus magic if you want something a little bit closer to hibiscus mahajab that has that sort of sharp edge look into this one definitely really good now the last one that we're going to talk about is one from um french avenue which i think is like paris corner or something like that um and this one is called liquid brun it came in a box like this this box confused the hell out of me. I could not, when I got this, I couldn't figure out how to open it. I thought it opened from like right here. I was like pulling it this way. I was like trying to pull this gold part out. I was like, how the hell? I had such a blonde moment. I had no idea. It just like opens up like, <laughs> I did everything, but actually open it the right way. I was so close to pulling this like gold piece out thinking like, oh, that's weird. Like, how do I get in this? And I did not have the common decency to just put two and two together and just be like oh it opens up like a book you dumb dumb so if you get it don't struggle like i did which i'm i doubt the majority of you will i'm sure the majority of you are smarter than my dumb ass but i struggled <laughs> i struggled when i got this i really like the box i wanted to show you guys the box because it's just so beautiful it's got like this little crystal on there really pretty gold detailing 
It opens up, like I said, just like a book and you have the fragrance inside. And this is supposed to be a clone of Parfums de Marley All Fair. And you guys, this is gorgeous. This is a sort of dense, rich, warm vanilla fragrance that has spice and woody elements to it. You've got cinnamon, orange blossom, bergamot, cardamom, bourbon vanilla, elemi, praline. You have ambroxan, musk, and guyac wood in you guys. This is gorgeous. I primarily get the orange blossom. To me, this smells almost like you're eating an orange creamsicle ice cream in the woods. And it's very like woody smelling outside. And like, mmm, it's just so, so delicious. It is marketed as a men's fragrance, but honestly, this is unisex in my opinion. My partner loved this so much, he ended up like wanting the bottle. So he's like, I want this. Like, this is so masculine. Like, you don't need to wear it. And I was like, excuse me i'm gonna wear it just because of that but i think it's unisex he thinks it's masculine i think it's unisex i could see a lot of girls getting away with this because it is a unique rich dense warm vanilla and i mean if you wear spirit like fragrances like uh spirit to stuble vanille by guerlain then you will probably have no problem wearing something like this one it's not the same fragrance but it's in that same line sort of warm vanilla woody fragrances but this has that orange blossom that really shines and gives it almost like an orange creamsicle vibe, in my opinion. I don't know why. It's like just really creamy, rich, delicious, has a sort of gourmand element. I know I heard a lot of people say it smells like you're eating a cookie in the forest. And I was like, no, it's more like an orange creamsicle in the forest, like to me. Um, or if you had an orange creamsicle cookie um i don't know if that's a thing but like if that was a thing that's sort of what I, I get from this it's really rich it's sophisticated it's warm i don't get a lot of the guyac wood which thank god i'm not the biggest fan of like super oody fragrances but this is beautifully done i love the ambroxan note in this ambroxan really clings to my skin and just clenches for its dear life and it lasts forever and this lasts forever on me long on clothes long on skin projects beautifully and creates this warm, vanillic, sort of gourmand-esque feel around you. It's got a really beautiful scent bubble. I really like this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. I have not gotten a chance to smell All Fair by Parfums de Marley. I'm sure it smells phenomenal, but for that price tag, I think I might stick to this. I think this smells phenomenal as well. Eventually, hopefully, I can find it in store so I can test it and see if it is a, an exact dupe side by side. But till then, I'm quite happy with this. And yeah, definitely unisex. I could see a lot of women wearing this and my men out there, you're gonna love this. If you love vanilla fragrances, some might think this is a little basic. I might agree a little bit with that, but I think it's a basic fragrance that has really interesting elements to it um, that you don't typically find in a lot of men's fragrances. They're typically not this sweet and Oh, just delicious. Um, but if you like fragrances like Parfum de Marley Herod, um, you'd probably really love this one as well because that one again is masculine or a masculine style fragrance, but it's got this sweetness to it that makes it very wearable for like women as well. Um, definitely like this, 10 out of 10. And yeah, that is it, you guys. Those are all the fragrances I have today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. If you like this content, like I said, like and subscribe. Um, and check me out on Instagram if you ever want to talk fragrance. I'm under Goddess on Neptune, same on Threads. And yeah, I will link everything down below so you can find it. So that way you don't have to struggle looking for these things. Until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!